baby, watch this rain. Oh my word. Okay, today I'm at Chevita. They are the official cycling apparel partner to the Absa Cape Epic 2024. And this is the 20th anniversary of the Cape Epic. How rad is that? Very, very exciting. Um, and obviously for us as, a, as an apparel partner, uh, we've got a whole range of, of kit for everyone, uh, whether it's your first, uh, si your first try at uh, doing the, the Absa Cape Epic, or you've done almost all 20 of them, um, we've got something for everyone. Today I'm with Shaul, who is with uh, Chia Vita, and today we're gonna just chat through some kits available from the brand and um, what I ride with and what I recommend some of you should ride with. If you're, if you're not racing, you need to be comfortable, and the most important thing, besides your bike, are bibs. Just uh, something to keep the bum comfortable is uh, always a good place to start. And depending on your style, whether you prefer bibs or baggies, we've got some options here. First up, uh, I would recommend the uh, Apex bibs. Uh, these ones are the cargo version, which actually have a pocket uh, on each leg for some extra storage space. And if you prefer to ride with a loose, loose jersey or a loose t-shirt and you don't want to stuff, uh, put stuff in your pockets, you've got some extra pockets at the back as well. This also comes with a, a chamois that has a floating pad in it. So basically the top part conforms to your body while the padding on the inside can move around as you move around. Um, also uh, something very very cool about these made with uh, recycled uh, fabrics so basically taking things like uh, plastic bottles fishing nets out of the ocean and putting it uh, into something much more useful. That's amazing I didn't know that. You can take it straight out of the packaging and go and straight into a stage race. There you go. Um, then for those of you I know Craig you also quite enjoy the uh, the baggy look uh, or the look with uh, with baggies a bit more comfortable and casual uh, we've got a solution for that as well so what a lot of people tend to do is put on their bibs under their baggies and then sometimes it does get a little bit hot our research and design department have uh, listened to the feedback and we now have a mountain bike specific um, baggy liner bib. So you get all the comfort and support of a mountain bike specific chamois. You get extra pockets on the back, but you've got a very breathable lightweight fabric that gives you that support and allows you to still be super comfortable while you are wearing your casual look baggies on the bike. This is very light compared to that. You can actually feel the difference. Yeah. So, and it's a way more breathable material, as you said. You can actually, I can see you my can hands through, see it. through yeah. it. So, so obviously this, you wouldn't necessarily wear this without the baggies, but for, for that support and that comfort of, of a mountain bike specific chamois, there's your solution. And then obviously going to the baggies, you've got pockets, uh, depending on which ones you get, you've got pockets on the side, you've got mm. a zipper pocket on the back, you've got a s adjustable Velcro straps uh, on the inside and just a little bit more length, but again, function, form, we've got all the, all the points covered. One thing about baggies, so I've been riding Epic and baggy since my third or fourth one. Since the start. Since the start. I'm the guy in the baggies. So what I like the most about baggies, when you invest in expensive bibs, the baggy protects your bibs from when you're falling. So I've had friends buy brand new bibs, fall on the first day, shred the bibs. I've had other guys riding baggies falling, they're shredding the baggies and they're saving the bibs. So baggies do help and it looks cool. And it looks cool. I mean, why not? And especially if you're not one of the, the guys racing for the podium and the, the yellow or the orange jersey, um, then why not uh, embrace that casual look, casual feel and actually enjoy your, your stage as you yeah. go through it. Okay, so the next thing is a base layer, which is what you wear under your, your top. Yeah, so I think a lot of a lot of people often think, oh, it's not it's not that cold. I don't need a base layer. Base layers are not necessarily only to keep you warm. It's to help regulate your temperature. We've got uh, the dry release base layers, um, extremely uh, soft to the touch, comfortable feel, lightweight. Uh, lyocell fabric. These are actually kind of hollow fibers that, that is um, 
extremely effective at moving that moisture away from your body, moving the heat away from your body, and just keeping your, your core temperature regulated. So whether you're riding with a tight jersey or a looser jersey on a hot day or a cold day, a base layer is always a good idea just to make sure you keep that optimal temperature. I can't ride without this. I feel naked. So 100%. heart rate monitor goes on, base layer goes straight on. And even when I'm working um, as an outdoor photographer under my normal t-shirts and tops, I wear these base layers and they definitely do help regulate temperatures. So base layer, hot or cold, that helps regulate your body temperature. There you go jerseys as as uh, wide as the universe we've got um, personal taste some people like them looser some people like them super tight depending on what you your preference is there are some options out there for you one of our best sellers um, from our range is our Tinta jersey and we've made some special uh, Absa Cape Epic 20 year edition ones um, with the special, cool. special logo on it. Also going to be available at our merch store um, in the race village from registration through prologue all the way until the last stage. If you, uh, like some people, end up uh, without your bags arriving, then- And it happens a lot. It does happen, uh, yeah. unfortunately but we've got you covered there, there are some options for you we've got uh, from black and white and sand and all the different colors uh, we've got some options for you so the center is a nice lightweight top what i do like about it that's easy access to the pockets and i like these strips that you add in the back here yeah, so the, the ABS, pockets, abs strips so your top doesn't stretch and hang over your bum when you're overloaded with snacks exactly. and i like a snack eh? exactly <laughs> and, and i mean especially if you're going out if you're going to be out there for quite a long time during the day you want to actually make sure you've got enough stuff in your pockets to to keep you going and these anti-bounce strips do exactly that you can go to the merch shop at the epic village and to see what suits you it's different shapes different sizes personal preference thickness of materials it all depends what you like. Now, on to the bad weather gear. <laughs> so yeah. here's a little tip. If the weather's bad during the Cape Epic, you don't, you don't have to ride in a 100% waterproof shell jacket. It will get very hot. As long as you have some form of a layer to protect you, it'll help you a lot, especially if you're wearing an underlayer. Yeah. So what I like a lot is this, and it's super light. Yes packs up super small. So this is our Ciro jacket. And um, the great thing about these jackets is the fact that it's so small and packable. These jackets actually come with their own little built-in pocket. Oh, wow. You can stuff that into the pocket. It just goes into itself. It's got a little elastic hook on it as well. And that can hook whether you prefer under your seat, on your handlebars, in your uh, hydration pack, wherever you like it, even in a, in a spare bottle. And it's always there to help keep the wind off. As Craig said, this doesn't necessarily need to be completely waterproof, but all it does is it keeps the wind That's off. cool. It keeps the wind off your body. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been uh, in situations myself where you just get caught out. Um, always good to be prepared. I need one of these. Yeah, we'll make a plan. <laughs> Do they come in different colors? They've got a whole range of colors from black and white, the, the basics for those who, who like the, the plainer colors, to bright greens, blues, pinks, purples, and everything in between. Um, a great option to always keep with you, uh, whether you're training or racing, there you go. And also the nice thing about this is breathable mesh along the sides so that's very important on some stages or some points when you're busy climbing or you're going a little bit harder you want to actually be able to dump some heat that does it perfectly. so there's no more riding trying to unzip under your armpits and zip here it's that, already included that. you're protecting your chest that's the most important thing yeah. and then for those who don't want to go for a full length um, jacket or who want a bit more kind of freedom you want to get a bit of a tan on your arms um, we've got gilets as well so whether you call it a gillet a gillet or a gilet um, gilet there you go that is the perfect option for specifically those cooler mornings um, some of these race starts, Craig, you can, you can talk about that as well. Yeah. These mornings start out a bit cooler, um, but you don't want to be stuck with a jacket for the whole stage. So stage six last year, arguably the worst <laughs> stage in the history yeah. of the Epsi Cape Quite Epic. Tough. I wore a underlayer, a tinted top. I always have my sleeves and this, and this is all I wore. And mm. I was 
fine. One thing you can do with this, if it does take up too much space, it doesn't come with a pocket, but you can fold it into its middle pocket like that. We are store it is under my top in the arch of your back in the bib. So yeah. it's out of the way. There you Easy, go. and that's I mean, where it stays. Again, like one of those good things that you, it's one garment, but it gives you multiple options. Yeah. Where you, whether you zip it open from the bottom because it's got a two-way zipper. So if from the you, bottom like yeah, that. Like that, or you zip it open completely, or you zip it up completely. You've got a couple of options. Um, and then if it really does get too warm, you can take it off completely. And as Craig said, you just stuff it in one of your pockets or in your hydration pack super easy super useful i think these are also just two key items to have with Always. the with the cape epic you never know what the weather's going to do and stage six last year we knew it was going to be bad like today outside <laughs> but it went from bad to biblical biblical sorry about the language i've lost my sense of humor if you haven't seen that i'll leave a link down here <laughs> to the supper fest of stage six yeah 2023 quite a, quite a quite a memory for a, for a lot of people potentially uh, even chase some people i'll never forget year. that day ever and it's it comes up in com conversation every time we talk about the cap yeah. epic is stage five but then stage six stage was just six uh, is just something else yeah let's hope there's a there's not something like that this year. No, please. <laughs> okay, so the one thing that I've done for my last three epics is taking a stock top off the shelf, just put a vinyl on like that. And what this allows is a quick turnaround time. Depending on, on the timing and how close we are to the event, obviously our vinyl department can get quite busy, but this is anywhere from three to seven days and you can have your, whether it's a company logo, whether it's a sponsor, um, it's a, it's a quicker turnaround time than our full custom range and a good solution for a lot of people who don't necessarily need the, the complete design. Just want to pop two or three logos on there, get some exposure for their sponsors. And I mean, Craig's, Craig's gone for the full uh, gold. Treatment. This was your idea. <laughs> so I'm doing my 10th epic and Charles um, was like, go with gold. Why not? So now I have go to finish it. There's no perfect. excuses. I have um, to finish. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is perfect. This is, the, this is the ideal way to add your own little touch to whatever yeah. kit you wear. And again, whether it's a, a lifestyle t-shirt or a race garment. No, you can brand any of your gear. Can you brand anything? bibs? You can brand bibs. With a vinyl. You can brand jerseys. You can wow. brand shirts. You can brand jackets. Just about anything that we make, we can put uh, your branding on there. So a great, great option for those who need it. What I like about this is it's a plain color mm. with the branding, white, gold, yellow. It sticks out so nice. I mean, that is such a good looking... Right Perhaps there. a Cape picture of Vita Top. Min yeah. Minimal branding. I think a lot of riders do like the base colors with minimal branding. Yes, exactly. For personal preference, those who prefer a plain uh, one solid color, we've got the options for those as well. Cape Epic gets hot. I do recommend riding with a thinner glove, something that's breathable. It's personal preference if you want padding on the bottom. I don't like padding. I like to have contact with the grips, so I ride with no padding. Thin gloves, but must be able to work your GPS or your watch yes. or your phone. Our Ventilare gloves have been uh, made with that exact purpose in mind. Super lightweight, uh, breathable on the outside. Even on the inside of the palm, we've got some ventilation holes there. A little bit of uh, kind of additional material on the heavy wearing areas, but as we said, these ones do not have padding so that you have that uh, kind of direct feel yeah. to the bars. You've got uh, touchscreen compatibility in the thumb and the, the forefinger and a little bit of uh, grip for where you need to pull on the brake levers oh, as is well. that why that's there that's why that's i didn't there. even know that there you go so a little bit of yes uh, fancy yeah a little bit of sticky sticky branding there just to make sure you've got got a good grip on those uh, and that's the one for one more beer levers. yeah you never know <laughs> you should actually do that one more beer no yeah, maybe that's uh <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to the r d department and see what you can make oh, make too good. happen after every stage of the Cape Epic. You should have a system in place. I ride with four sets of full kits. Prologue, one, two, three. And then from stage five, I start, start washing kits. Yeah. At the race village, at uh, registration, you can purchase a wash service and it comes with a Chiavita bag like this. 
one set of kit per bag. Don't overload the bag and the, the wash lady is actually get really cross if you arrive there and all that is, is in the bag. Into one. It's not going to wash effect no. either. And it's still going to be stinky. One little tip is to make sure your zip is completely hidden away under there so it doesn't come loose. And this little pouch over here, gloves, socks, and arm sleeves, so you separate it nicely. Exactly. So um, very important, clean kits. Even when you are washing at home and when you're not busy in a, in a race, this also helps just protect your kit uh, from the other stuff that's, that's in your washing yeah. machine with it. We have a new version of this in the works. Um, again, this, this idea that we, we always need to keep uh, improving. Kind of improving, keep uh, moving forward and this is one of those things these wash bags are, are um, absolutely perfect for what you need but we can always do it better so something something new in the works coming as well I get excited with wash bags and bags and gadgets you know that some small things some gadgets and and again um, even if you uh, and one of your tricks Craig um, packing when you're packing your kit in terms of stage one prologue and so on and so on um, keeping everything separate and and kind of ready to go if you've done a stage race stage race like this before you'll know that your bag turns to chaos after the first yeah. day pre pack so your bags -pack i have a video on this where you pack for every stage pack your kit for every stage pack your food for all the, i know it's eight stages but the prologue is different to one yeah. to seven so pack your food four, one to seven, and pack your bags with your kits in these. I reuse all my CV to bags like this, yep. and you won't believe it, but in this bag you can fit bibs, top, socks, arm sleeves, underlayer vest, yep. and everything you need, and a in whole, a separate bag. A whole day's worth of, worth of kit. These are also uh, industrially compostable. Yeah, that's so amazing. A great, a great way, once again, um, something small that we're trying to just Keep, uh, keep being better to the environment wherever we can. Thank you so much. No worries. So for any more info, chiavita.com. Yeah. And the merch shop will be open from registration all the way through to stage seven or six. Grand, uh, grand and finale. at the grand finale. Yep. So give them a visit and um, yeah, ride safe. Look after your bum, get proper <laughs> bibs. You don't want to visit the bum clinic. There Trust me, it is. Horrendous. <laughs> it's not the place you want to be. Look forward to seeing all of the smiling faces coming uh, coming over the finish line. Or not. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Sure. Thank you. Cheers. Nice one. Cheers.